Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can train your own custom object detection model using YOLO V8. So let's begin. So the first thing that you need to install is the Ultra Latest Library. So I already have it installed. So just type pip install Ultra Latics and it should install Ultra Latics in your system. I have the 8.0.131 version. Yours could be different. So for the sake of this tutorial, we'll be using a parking lot data set which is available on RoboFlow. Robo so uh, we'll just click here and we'll download it in YOLO V8 format. Okay, since this tutorial is based on YOLO V8, so we'll be downloading it in YOLO V8 format and then we'll click on continue. Once you click on continue, you will get some downloaded images. So once you have downloaded the zip file and extracted, you will get three folders within it, train, test and validation. And it contains more than 12,000 images in total. But uh, if you want, you can just uh, use a part of the data set if you have a limited computational power. So for that, uh, so for that, I have written this code for splitting the data set. So basically we need training and validation images to during the training of our Euro model. So I have uh, split the images as follows. So I've used 5000 images for training and uh, three, 300 images for validation. You can use as many images as you want but if there is a computational limitation then you can cut down on the images that you have. So, so yeah this so this part is basically optional if you only can skip it the next part involves training our YOLO model so for that we'll write this piece of code so the data argument takes in the data.yaml file I'll explain it to you in shortly what this data yaml file is IMG as your argument uh, basically just resizes your input images into this particular size so this is usually the multiple of 32 uh you can keep this size more if you have more gpu computational power if you have less gpu computational power then uh, uh, gpu or cpu power then uh, you can keep it a little less like around 320 or something then we have epochs batch size these are the basic you know uh, terms of machine learning or deep learning which you must be knowing so epochs basically means how many uh, times you want your model to model to go through a data set and uh, batch size means after how many uh, images you want your uh, model to upgrade its weight update its weight and this is the name of the model that will be you know saved so this is the data.yaml file which i was talking about earlier so first you have to define the path so our uh, data.yaml file and other codes are present in this park under so count folder so uh, we need to first mention uh, you need to uh, write two dot slash name of the folder where all your codes are present and the data set folder where your data set is stored okay then we'll mention the tra training path so uh, the train and validation folders are pr present within this data sets folder so we need to give the path of the images so it will use this path and this part to uh, you know uh, get the to get to the images training and validation images next we have number of classes which is two and uh, this is the uh, this is the name of the class so first is uh, sp space empty zero the index stands for space empty and and the index one stands for space occupied so this is our data, data sets folder so let's go through uh, one of the text files so as you can see first this is the first index which stands for space occupied this stands for space empty and this is the you know images folder and these are it's a uh, these are their corresponding labels and we similarly have a validation uh, folder as well 
so now we'll run this uh, training file so we we'll just type in three and the name of our training file so this will automatically start our training process i've already trained a model so uh, this might might take a few hours depending on the size of the gpu that you have if you have a better gpu then uh, it will take lesser time for for it to get trained and uh, once that's done you need to go to the runs folder there you can go to this folder and uh, here you can see there are multiple folders because i have tried it multiple times before and uh, you need to go to the weights folder and here you'll find the best.pt file so this is a model which has contained uh, which contains weights which have you know least amount of loss okay so you can use this for inferencing next we'll use our model for inferencing so first we'll import some libraries so here we have imported cv2 numpy pil and uh, few functions from ultralytics library so uh, i have uh, renamed and uh, kept our model in this models folder so this is the so this is the model uh, that will be using park dot park underscore best so you will call the yellow function for reading a model and uh, and the model dot model dot names will give us a list of you know name of the classes so then we'll read the image using cv2 library then we read the image using cv2 library and we'll use our model for predicting uh, perform for, to perform predictions on the image then we'll co convert this image to rgb format because pil uses rgb format and uh, cpt uses bgr format right so in the results over here consist of an array so we'll you know try to iterate over it here we'll call the annotator function and uh, and for each element in results we'll create a variable called boxes so this again is an array then we'll loop over this boxes variable and box dot x y x y of zeroth element uh, consists of coordinates of the box and uh, box dot cls consists of the you know class name then we'll try to uh, decode the class name from the dt model dot name and then we'll use the annotator dot box label for labeling the you know labeling each each of the boxes so your box should contain the coordinates so here we have the coordinates class name we get class name from here and then colors we get from you know colors function that we have imported over here so since we are using this int of c so each class gets a unique color automatically so you don't have to you know give a color the give a you know color manually then we'll finally try to you know display the image and here we have the annotated image of course this is not very accurate because i was not able to you know train train it with large amount of images with high number of you know epochs because of you know computational limitation so once your yolo v8 model is ready next we'll convert it into an open we know intermediate representation format so uh, for that you can refer this repository of mine from this repository you can uh, refer this file specifically for the code for converting for model conversion so this code contains uh, few helper functions as well with descriptions which you can refer so once you have converted the model into uh, open vino format you can use this piece of code for inferencing and uh, as you can see the mo uh, the open vino model works pretty well uh, here it has missed a few uh, 
empty parking spaces that's because uh, i trained the original uh, uno v8 model in, on few, fewer epochs uh, due to computational limitation but if you if you can make it more accurate it will surely work better so yeah i hope you found this video helpful uh, and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much